Hey guys, so today I'm going to go over my hair care routine. So this was requested by I am Grape 1119 Go check out her channel if you haven't already. I love her. She's so funny and cute. So she asked me what I do for my hair. So the shampoo I use is Pantene Pro-V in Brunette Expressions. Brunette Expressions. And it's a color enhancing shampoo. And this is in nutmeg to dark chocolate. Now, I don't color my hair, which is probably one of the factors to it being so healthy. <laughs> um, I highlighted it a long time ago, many, many years ago, and it just damaged my hair so bad that I promised myself that I would never get highlights or dye it ever again. <laughs> so I got this and um, it works well. I wasn't expecting it to really do anything since you know I already have such dark hair but sometimes when my hair is like shining in the light and I catch myself in the mirror I'll be like ooh check out that hair. So this is good and then I use the conditioner for it but this one's all used up as you could very well see. Um, the same brand, same for the same coloring, nutmeg to dark chocolate. These work really well together. Um, Pantene Pro-V has always worked well for my hair and uh, I just like what the Brunette Expressions does for like the sheen and the actual color of my hair. The thing is, um, as with any shampoo, your hair will get used to it and it'll start having product buildup, which is what happened to me. Um, right after coming out of a shower, after I washed my hair, and I wash my hair like vigorously, sometimes twice, um, I noticed that I would have lots of little flakes on my scalp and I thought, it was dandruff because it's winter time and my skin is dry, you know, parts of me are dry that normally aren't. So what I would do is put on some jojoba oil onto my scalp. This is like a little miracle moisturizer thing, this little guy. Just put a little bit on a cotton pad and then while my hair is still completely wet, I'd pull my hair back and rub it into my, like, peeling areas. And then, so I thought it was dandruff. And then I read some more stuff on hair care and I realized that it's product buildup because I've been using this for, I don't know how many months now, but I mean, this is well done. It, it's all gone, so finally I can change my conditioner. But I still want to finish up using this shampoo and there's still quite a few uses in this, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe I'll stop using it. But yeah so in the shower what I'll do is put this on concentrate on my roots to get rid of what I thought was dandruff so rub 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 all over and then sometimes I would wash it twice rinse lather repeat right rinse lather repeat so I would repeat because I heard that um, if you wash your hair with shampoo twice it'll create more volume and that's what I want from my hair I, I just I, I like it better when it's voluminous so then after I, I wash all of that out I try to squeeze as much water out as possible and then I'll put my conditioner on now with the conditioner I'll put it in my hand and start at the bottoms first first I'll rub it into the bottoms and then work my way up and I avoid my roots I won't put any conditioner in my roots because that's what makes it weigh down. So concentrate mostly on the roots. Let that set in and I'll go about doing my other business in the shower. And then I'll rinse it out uh, until it feels clean but still slightly slippery. You still want it to feel a little slippery. And then I get out of the shower, um, like I said, I do my jojoba oil on my scalp. You could also put a few drops of this in your shampoo, I think. I think people at Makeup Alley do that. Usually, I'll blow dry it out with a large round brush, 100% boar bristle. Um, you want to use 
completely bore bristle brushes so that it brings your natural oils from your scalp down through the rest of your hair. That's what makes your hair really shiny. So I like to, and I like to use a big round one to create volume and like, a, it, well, my hair doesn't look good right now because I didn't blow dry it today, but uh, <laughs> I just let it air dry. But normally what I'll do is I'll run the big round brush through like this and kind of curve in the, on the bottom so it just kind of falls like nicely down like this. And I flip my head over first when I'm blow drying and I hit it all over my scalp so that my hair has volume in it. And then if I want to get really special and I want a lot of volume and I want it to stay and I'm going, it's like a night out with my friends, girlfriends or whatever, I use Matrix Amplify Volumizing System Foam Volumizer. Okay, Matrix Amplify Volumizing System. And it says here, number three, Foam Volumizer. This is a mousse. The smell is okay. Um, so what I do with this is I shake it up, pour a dollop into my hand, spread it between my both hands and then put it onto my roots where I want the volume. And I do that when my hair is still kind of damp, still wet right before I'm about to blow dry. So I'll put it right in my roots and then I start to blow dry it. But that's for like really special occasions because after a whole day it'll start to flake on you a little bit. <clears throat> So that's pretty much my hair care routine. Lately, all I've been doing is blow drying with my boar bristle brush or just letting it air dry. I haven't used a curling iron or a straightening iron in a long time and that's probably why um, you guys think my hair looks nice because I haven't really hit it with too much heat damage. Um, but I know that once I start using straightening irons and stuff it'll probably get damaged. So I guess if you want glossy hair and stuff like that, um, just try to avoid heating elements. Do whatever you can to protect your hair. Um, use moisturizing products. My hair is very long right now. Uh, I mentioned in one of my other videos that I wanted to get like a Rihanna haircut, but after thinking about it, I don't think I could pull that off. Um, so I think I'm going to keep the length, but I'm just going to um, get it trimmed and get layers in it again. Um, I'll probably go to the same guy I went to last time because I really like what he did. And I also got a straightening iron. Um, it's a really cheap one. I wanted to try it out. It's I have one already by Revlon, but it's like a two inch monster. But um, I saw on YouTube girls who curl with a straightening iron, so I really want to try that. So I got a one inch one. It's really cheap. It's like under 40 bucks. So um, I want to try that out, and I definitely need long hair for that. And that's it. My hair is completely virgin right now. There's no color, there's no perm, there's no straight perm, there's no chemicals in it, and that's probably why it looks so shiny and nice, but it also looks really plain. So I'll just get it cut and style it up a little bit more with curling and whatever else I can do. So that's my hair care. I hope that helped you. I am Grape1119 or Tao. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom. And that's it. Bye!